My name is Jonas Unger. I'm leading a research group called Computer Graphics and Image Processing here at the Department of Science and Technology at Linköping University. When we use computer graphics, we can use photorealistic image synthesis to create images of what the camera in the car, for example, would see. And while we are generating the camera image, we can also generate the meta information needed to train the uh, autonomous system, such as, for example, segmentation maps, depth information, uh, and other types of information that you want the uh, car to be able to analyze as it's uh, driving down the street. As you can see uh, in the image here, uh, we can now go into a scene, capture the scene with various sensors, and generate a digital copy of the scene um, describing both its geometry, the lighting, and the materials uh, in the scene. And by doing so, we can put uh, virtual objects into the scene, in this case, furniture. And if we now simulate how light interacts with our emission materials, the geometries, and so on, we can create highly realistic images. <laughs> I'm Anders Enemann, uh, I'm the director of the Norrköping Visualization Center and I'm also holding the chair in scientific visualization at Linköping University. The visual media is becoming more and more important for many different reasons. Uh, if we're looking at the revolution that's ongoing in terms of autonomous systems and artificial intelligence, as long as we need to have the human in the loop, we need to have interfaces to the humans. Uh, and that's where visual media really comes into play as one of the en enabling technologies that we can communicate with images. Very complex data, big data can be communicated to humans uh, using images. Uh, and this is what we're capitalizing on in visualization and in computer graphics. Also the interaction is something that we do research on here. Uh, and if we're looking at the future autonomous vehicles, for instance, they will be uh, driven by machines primarily, but every now and then there will have to be a human uh, that also intervenes and takes high-level decisions. 